All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeen, and welcome to today's fourth vlog. The Houston Texans controlled the 27th selection of this year's NFL Draft. Now they had a great offseason picking up Ed Reed, that he's a good safety out of the Super Bowl champion Baltimore Ravens, and I think this team has another clear shot of winning a, a Super Bowl championship with the addition of Ed Reed. He's like a great center fielder on defense, great safety, and I think he would definitely help out the secondary, which was part of the reason why they lost to the um, um, New England Patriots in the playoffs. I think they, they can step it up a little bit, and because of that upgrade on defense, I think this team could be a great Super Bowl contender, one of the favorites to win the Super Bowl this upcoming season. Now, for their select, their first selection, overall selection, they could use a good 3-4 inside linebacker. They're praying that <laughs> Ogletree out of Georgia will be available for this selection, but I highly doubt he will be available. They could also look at Kevin Minter from um, LSU or Manti Teo. Pray that he's still available available. I think that um, between the uh, three players, I think Teo and um, uh, Alec Ogletree will be out for this selection. They can go with um, Kevin Minter out of LSU, but I really think they, they could use picking up a good receiver opposite of Andre Johnson, and I really think they should go with a little bit of a wild card pick for this one. Robert Woods out of USC. He had a very productive year as a Trojan, a little bit overshadowed and overlooked because of wide receiver Marquise Lee. He was actually now the number two receiver when Marquise Lee started to get that swag a little bit and more confidence. Marquise Lee was the Blitnikoff Award winner given to the nation's best wide receiver, and he pretty much overshadowed on um, um, Robert Woods, but I still think Robert Woods is a great receiver, even though USC came from a down year, and that kind of dropped on Robert Woods' draft status, but I still think he's a tremendous player and a good compliment to Andre Johnson. Now, another player that they can go with, and I think a lot of people might argue with me a little bit about this one, is Keenan Allen out of California. Even though Keenan Allen is a, a better prospect than Robert Woods, I think Robert Woods will be a better fit with that offense. And I also think that Keenan Allen might have a little bit of an ego, and I think he can, he might not mesh too well with Matt Shop and that offense with all those star players like Andre Johnson and Arian Foster. I think he will not be that good of an addition to that team. And I think that Robert Woods, playing with a lot of all-stars at USC, he will be a great complement to all the offense, offensive weapons for the Houston Texans. So for this selection, I'm going to go with Robert Woods out of USC. Now, I have one more video for you guys talking about pick number 28 belonging to the Denver Broncos. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.